morning guys and girls. Uh, today we're going to be talking about another one of our very very exciting ranges of uh, products. We've got um, a product that's pretty much taken the best world by storm at the moment. We've got our reaction plastics. Now these are a proudly Kingfisher product um, and we've produced them in I think it's about seven different different versions and they each come in a, in a variety of colors. Now what I'll do is I'm going to go through each of them and uh, with them being so affordable, they are actually selling like hotcakes, so one of those things just to look out for. But I'll go through each one and the kind of things that you can use them for and the applications and things like that. Now we're going to start out. We've got our plain stock standard straight tail worm. Now, the nice thing about them, they've got a few, quite a few exciting colors as you'll see when they come up. You've got straight worm, nice and chunky in the front, finesse applications. And drop them off. The little tail does give quite a bit of a wiggle with it being thinner. So it works really nice. Texas rig, uh, drop shot rigs, things like that, um, where you can really wiggle it in their face. Now, all of these products are very, very salt infused. You can uh, feed it the best um, when they bite onto it, they're going to hold on a lot longer because that salt just makes them makes it taste a lot more natural. Very, very flexible plastics, as you can see. They uh, sit nice and straight, a lot of ribbing on them, nice texture. A little bit of stretch, but you'll see uh, we've got an even more exciting product after this that will in the next video. Um, the colors are phenomenal, they've come out absolutely beautifully, and yeah, the bats really, really like them. So, yeah, salt scented and garlic, it just gives them a little bit of a oof, add a bit of pasta, a little bit of white sauce, you've got something going. So, first of them are the straight tail worms, then we're going to cut to your standard flukes. Now, Flukes are always very popular, you're using them weightless, you're using them on a Texas rig. You can rig them pretty much how you want it to. If you wanted to have it as a trailer out the back of something, you'd obviously just have them probably rigged up to about there. Nice slits in the middle, um, gives you a lot less plastic to go through with your hooks, so you're not having this thick, thick plastic it needs to penetrate, the hook needs to go through, so you can have very good hookups. That comes in about eight different colors. Then we've got it's called a chubby crawl. Right there. Now he also comes in quite a few different colors. Obviously you'll see these in the video, we'll put all the colors up and you can actually have a look. The chubby crawl is a designated trailer. Now you can fish him by himself. What I've actually found to do is if you rig him on a Texas rig and you put a, a spinnerbait skirt, just the skirt or a jig skirt, whatever it is, and you slide that on and then put the weight, you actually get a jig out of a soft plastic. So you've got the skirt sitting over with that like that. You can fish him just by themselves but they make a very very nice trailer especially in the more exotic colors get something to sit out the back of a jig or out, even out the back of a spinnerbait then my favorite of the entire range we've got our ringer worms now the nice thing about these is one nice length nice and chunky they've got quite a small tail so you can fish them quick you can fish them slow you can fish them finesse if you wanted to but the main thing is the ribs that they've got going along create such a disturbance because they, if the water moving over them has to rip along, you're getting a lot of disturbance in the water, a lot of movement, and yeah, as the garlic and the salt sense is going to make that bass hold on that little bit longer. So that's the ringer, obviously available in all the colors. Then we have the para. Now the nice thing about these, unlike a lot of other frogs, the with the feet kicking inwards, you get a lot more of a narrow disturbance. But also they kick a hell of a lot and they, the disturbance pushing from the middle kicks the legs out, gives it a hell of a lot of action. And it's got a nice, it's got a bit of texture to it. They're very, very hard plastics. They don't tear like the other, a uh, lot of other brands. And yeah, they're just phenomenal, phenomenal frogs. Then we've got our creature from the Black Lagoon. Little creature there. Basically just a thing. It's very difficult to explain. It looks like something you'd find on the Sci-Fi channel. Uh, nice chunky body, big head, goes off to a thinner presentation at the back, got a few appendages, that's going to move around, just give the bass something that they've never, never seen before. Same there. And then the new baby, see him over there. This guy has been called the leech. Nice short, short body, which is very nice for your lighter presentation, fishing for those smaller bass, which you sometimes do need to do. Nice big tail for its size, and uh, also little little finesse pattern. Something that you can you can flick on a light spinning stick, um, 
fish it deep, fish it shallow, wherever you wanted to. And you can fish that weightless if you wanted to. So yeah. Guys, that's the pretty much the whole range of reactions. Um, these are now the standard reactions. Um, you're going to click on the link, you'll see there's another video that we've just done on the, uh, the new stretchy reaction, which are very, very exciting. So yeah, this is the reaction plastics. Wide range of, uh, they're generally freshwater related, but there's absolutely no reason you can't throw these in salt water. We've had guys that buy these that actually fish them for tiger fish, um, the frogs, which is hell of an exciting. They've showed us some videos. So don't limit yourself to what everyone else tells you to do. These can be used pretty much anywhere. Go out, have fun. Cheers.